<laughs> it's the first time in months that pictures of the former president of South Africa, Nelson Mandela, are being shown. On Monday, the ruling African National Congress released these images with a visibly frail Mandela at his home in Johannesburg. He was with President Jacob Zuma, his medical team, senior party officials and family members. Zuma said the 94-year-old anti-apartheid hero, known affectionately as Madiba, was in good health and spirits. But the decision to publicize the visit has been criticized on social media here. Here's what's being said. He looked like a man who didn't want to be there. Everyone around him was all smiles but him. It was so hard and painful to see. After everything Madiba has done for us, this is how they treat him, like an animal at the zoo. Shame on the ANC. Others are also angry, calling it an invasion of Mandela's privacy. I thought it was absolutely pathetic that they would, would need to use a sick old man who wants to rest to use that for their own political and make an absolute circus out of his sick room. But ANC officials say it was the right thing to do, insisting it's in the public interest. We therefore had to show Madiba that Madiba is alive, Madiba is kicking, Madiba opens his eyes, Madiba speaks. Of course, because of his age, he will also forget at times who he is speaking to. It's natural. Mandela's failing health is a concern to many South Africans. In April, he spent nine days in hospital for a recurring lung infection. While there has been an outcry on social media, people on the streets seem to be more understanding. They can appreciate that Nelson Mandela is old and frail. And while some admit they are surprised at how frail he looks, they are also relieved he is alive. I was very happy because it was a long time. I haven't seen him for a long time. And it was very, very happy for me to see Mandela on TV. Just how sick Mandela really is, is a closely kept secret and the reason for much speculation here. But what is clear is that the older he becomes, the more people here worry about the man they greatly admire. Haru Matasa, Al Jazeera, Johannesburg.